Hello everybody, I'm here to speak to you on behalf of the Trayvon Martin case. I'd like to say that I did just read up on the new information discovered about him, but I still believe that new information is completely irrelevant to the case due to the fact that whatever Trayvon Martin has done previously had nothing to do with what happened that night. Okay, he was sent to the store to get some iced tea and a bag of candy and he was pursued by someone, okay? So, if someone's following you and it's nighttime, you're going to be a little nervous, you know? You're going to feel threatened. You're going to feel hostile, okay? So, if Trayvon Martin did assault him, that was self-defense. Because why are you pursuing me? It's late at night. I don't know who you are, and I'm worried, and I'm going to fight for my life. Now, Zimmerman completely disregarded the policeman's order and pursued him anyway. So if he did get assaulted, he had it coming. But he managed to kill the boy and get away with that and claim self-defense as well. But it's America. What can you expect? Now, not to sound too ignorant, but let that have been a black guy pursuing a white or Jewish guy, he indefinitely would have been imprisoned. So, that goes to show, again, this is America, what can you expect? Now, regardless of Trayvon smoking weed or being a fire, I, I don't know why this is such a big topic. I think it is because Zimmerman actually has supporters who are going to fight to seek their, their, their justice with him. Where they feel that he shouldn't get in trouble because he actually was in self-defense. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. What happened that night is what you need to focus on. He should have been arrested. He took someone's life. That was not right. There was witnesses. Plenty of witnesses against him. There was audio and recording. Okay? So if, if it's a policeman talking to him, telling him not to do something, and he disobeys the cop, just off of that, he should have been arrested. And why is he free? I have no clue. But the trial is going to take some time anyway, so people are still going to see what's going on. I don't know what's with more investigating for when the facts are all there. You know, sometimes the truth is just right in front of your eyes. But then again, this is America, so you can see through the corruption. And um, for Zimmerman supporters, um, you know, you have your beliefs. Um, this is America, freedom of speech, freedom of, you know, whatever you want it to be. So what can I, I, I really honestly don't know what to say for them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm at a loss of words. But I'd like everyone to have a God-blessed day, so I'll talk to you guys later. Good night.